Hey everyone, Merrick's here bringing you another video. Uh, this one is going to be on the 123 Kid, the underdog hero. Uh, he's available in the game now. Uh, there's a showdown contest running for him. As usual, I don't get to keep him. I'm gonna have to earn him like you guys do. Uh, hopefully I get him. He's a very strong character. Uh, lots of fun to play, a lot of different movesets available. Uh, he has one uh, link, it's new generation, gems do 10% more damage, and the one gear. He's a coach. At 9k, heal gems do 15% more damage, and moves that generate heal gems will create one more heal gem, and heal gems give 15% more health. Going to be great for the typhoons, lacies, people like that. Uh, so pretty solid coach. Um, so let's take a look at the first move set I'm going to run. It'll be available at 3 star. Um, the three-star move is this missile drop kick. Deal 27k damage and choose six gems to make into yellow gems. Eight MP move. Uh, the spinning crescent kick. That's uh, uh, available at two-star. One MP. Deal 12k damage plus 12,101 bonus damage for every protect gem. That's going to add up in a hurry. And then the roundhouse kick, also available at uh, two star, is a 1 MP. Deal 5,400 damage and make two random gems into protect gems of strength 7,531. Um, for the entourage, I'm going to run with Harlem Heat Booker T. So we're making four protect gems. Uh, ABA Undertaker, so the Protect Gems do 30% more damage. Um, that's really boosting that that up there. Bailey is going to add another 15%, and moves that generate Protect Gems are going to create one more. And then finally, Earthquake for another uh, Protect Gem, and then reducing the Protect Gem damage by an additional 20%. Um, so we're going to be making eight Protect Gems at 9,000 strength. And uh, each one that's on the board every turn, we're going to do 17,000 plus damage for. Uh, so he's a lot of fun to use. We're going to go on the road, uh, Royal Rumble Tour, Hell Mode, the hardest one, uh, and face Jimmy. Uh, really, this is the, the, the best showing I can do because he is so strong and no one can really kick out of the Protect Gems. We're going to give Jimmy the best shot because he has a class advantage and he's strapped up. So he's got a, essentially a 75% gem damage boost by the time it's done. So if an acrobat can't kick out, uh, no one really is going to. I do have two perks. Uh, active, plus two MP. And plus one for matches. You can see there, plus two MP and plus one on the matches. So ideally, you're going to want a blue match turn one with this. Uh, you could go with the finisher, a little bit harder to load. You could go with the yellow uh, destroy move. That's 8 MP. Uh, or that's, yeah, that's 8 MP. Um, and those would both be available at 3 star. I kind of like the blue one. It's a choose move. I can choose around the protect gems. does require a match, but it's fine because in the meantime, uh, we're not going to take a lot of damage and we're going to do a bunch. So by this turn, I want to say we're probably going to do close to 300k maybe damage, 250. So he's at 570k. Let's see where he ends up. So 270k on that one. Um, that's going to eat a protect gem. So there we got the blues we need. That'll definitely be over next turn. You can end it turn two with a blue match pretty easily. You can see we're taking no damage either because those protects are just huge. Doesn't really matter what you do. Uh, one, two, three kids going to win a lot. Doesn't need MP trainers and... Uh, isn't going to take damage. So that's the three star set. It's pretty fun. Uh, in showdown, it would be crazy. Really, the, the black and the blue, the one MP moves, kind of a staple here. You can throw whatever other move you feel like, really. Uh, but showdown, he would be super, super good. Not going to take much damage. Going to get rolling really quick. Um, really fun card. 
very aggressive, but also at the same time fairly defensive oriented because he's not going to take a lot of damage. Um, showboats, so can have some trouble kicking out, and then anyone that can clear the whole board would potentially give him some trouble right away, like for feud or something. So let's jump into the uh, next move set, which actually, if you really wanted to, you could do at two star. Uh, you just wouldn't have all the trainers available. Um, so let's switch out the moves. Um, I'm trying to make sure every move gets represented in this, so every move should be used in at least one um, one build. So this one, we're going to put the finisher in. And the finisher is the one, two, three kick. Finisher deals 148k damage and increases the strength of your protect gems by a ridiculous 15,734. The moon salt deal 40k damage and choose eight gems to destroy. Then we're still keeping that roundhouse kick in. I'm going for a different feel with this build, so changing up the trainers um, to make the yellow destroy move turn one. Give it a little bit different feel, show you guys an option. If you have Akam and Beth, uh, Beth adds two yellow um, MP. So because we still have, so Akam adds four and Beth adds two. So that's going to make our eight MP turn one, keeping Bailey and quake so that we're making four protect gems the really cool thing about this build set is that you can throw the protect gems out turn one use the moon salt destroy one black and a couple more yellows throw the protect gems out again and then have that finisher ready to go turn one uh which is pretty pretty great actually so we're going to throw the random protects out And you can see we need exactly three more yellows. And then the one more black will reload the protect gem move. So let's... Uh, and you can push it a little bit to kind of help recycle the destroy. Um, you know, with your pin bar if you don't think you're going to force a pin. So let's... We can push it a little bit, I think. What do we got? One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's uh, get at least one more. That gives us six. And even if we hit a eight, seven, yep, that'll give us room. So even if we get a a three match to fall in, we won't force a pin. There we go. And throw those random gems out again. So now we got eight of them. And I kind of like this move set a lot, although um, Jimmy may be able to kick out because he does is strapped. So let's see what happens. Big protect gems. Yeah, he wasn't even close actually. So that's a turn one win. So I would, I could see running this in feud um, potentially, uh, depending on how perks are set up. But if you can get to eight MP with dual MP trainers turn one. Uh, this move set would be the ticket for feud to me, running it just like that. So I actually really like this move set, and uh, find it to be very viable. And it's kind of crazy it's available at two star. You wouldn't have the trainers for it though. Uh, so next move set, uh, this is a pretty uh, great move set. I think this will probably be a lot of people's general, possibly their favorite one. I am actually kind of partial to that one I just showed you guys. That might be my favorite. I'm not sure. He's got so many good moves sets, it doesn't really matter. Okay. So jumping into his four-star move set here. We're going to keep the finisher, and we're going to bring in the four-star move, the spinning heel kick. Oops. And come on there. And we're going to bring it back. Um, oh, I suppose I should read what the spinning heel kick does for you guys, huh? So deal 29k damage and swap a 4x2 random area into yellow gems. Um, so that's going to get our finisher charged up. It will almost always cause a force pin. Once in a blue moon, it won't. So you're looking at uh, turn 2. I'm going to put Bray in for black MP, starting with 4. And then bring back Harlem Heat uh, Booker T for more protect gems. Um, you could also, where I used uh, ABA Undertaker, 
Um, you could also potentially use uh, Dusty if for some reason you didn't have ABA, but I can't really see that being the case. Um, the first move set. Um, yeah, so let's get in here and do this against Jimmy. So the difference here is you're going to drop the random 4x2 area to get to the finisher that way, um, and you're um, buffing so you get a bunch of protect gems out there on turn 1. Like I said, usually you're going to force a pin. So you want to throw your protect gems out. And you could you get a bunch of cheap wins this way too, actually. Where people can't kick out. Almost for sure Jimmy's gonna because he's an acrobat. But you can get a bunch of cheap wins this way too. And that loads the finisher up. Not a lot of our Protect Gems. Well, five of the eight survived. So now we're going to get another eight more. So that's going to be 13 Protect Gems. And they're going to be super buff. So 15 at 28k. is a lot. You're talking in like 400,000 uh, plus in Protect Gems there. That's super, super difficult to kick out of. So again, really good moveset. That one almost all the time is going to be turn two uh, because you're going to force that pin. That's the only downside to it. But you will have some Protect Gems on the board to lessen damage by quite a bit. Last move set we're going to run here is going to be available at 5 star. We're going to bring in the 5 star move. Which is the... not this one. And you could run this last one triple yellow if you wanted to. I kind of partial to this black move. It's a lower charge move, uh, which I like. Um, the new... Five star move is the diving leg drop, deal 41k damage and modify a one by seven random area into protect gems of strength 17,981. This move set in particular um, will generate the biggest protect gems per protect gem. I think when I was doing it, they're over 45k with this um, this build. Or I mean, sorry, 55k with this build. So throwing Brawn in there so that Protect Gems reduce damage taken by an additional 45%. Because it's an uh, area, we're not making more, and so Bailey won't help us either. And uh, I'm just going to throw in um, Lana. She's a gem defense coach, just to lower blue gem damage since we're against an Acrobat. That that slot is actually open. You could put Rikishi if you wanted, you know, uh, you, lots of guys you could put in there, really anyone. Otherwise, everything else stays the same. Um, moving Bray in for the Blacks. I don't know why I swapped him out. So, Ron to buff the Prots, Bray to get us going right away, Earthquake to buff the Prots some more. And there you go. So the only downside to this, well, it gets the biggest protect gems. Um, the only downside is they're all uh, in a column. So potentially if they, and it's random, so potentially if they land on a three match, you can get three of them, three of them wiped out right away. Now you'll see what I mean. Probably won't happen, but it is possible. And with this move set, you don't get the Protect Gems down first turn as well. So I'm not as wild about this one as the other ones, even though it is the five star set. You're susceptible to things like this big cascade here. And Jimmy is very strapped up. And we are a showboat. We're going to get out no problem, but... Okay. And it's kind of a one shot for sure, you know, like you, you either get it or you don't. That looks like a pretty decent column. I mean, Jimmy might target the purple right out the gate, so we could lose one right away. Uh, but they're going to be super powerful protect gems. Yep, 
Yeah, 55k. So, there you go. One, two, three, kid, guys. Four different move sets, taking very little damage. Um, all really fun, really fast. He's a great card. A lot of fun to play. A lot of the builds you don't need an MP trainer. Um, I liked him a lot. I hope I can get him. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments, what your favorite moveset was. Again, I think I'm kind of partial to, to this one potentially because you can end it turn one. Um, I really like that one and I really like the no MP coach ones. So I like this one a lot and you can rotate in the, the other move in this build set. You could run the finisher, you could run the, the destroy, you could run the choose, just tons of options with this move set. Um, so let me know what you, th you think in the comments, guys, if you liked him, uh, what move set you liked, and all of that good stuff. Other than that, I really appreciate your support. So uh, remember to like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Good luck out there.